Every simulation in Abacus is carried out in a series of steps. You have an initial step where you could possibly set up a few things, um, such as maybe set your boundary conditions, or maybe just not set anything at all in that initial step. And then you can have a second step where maybe you apply a load on a certain part. And maybe a third step where you assign another load or some other behavioral property. And Abacus will execute all of these steps one after another as different time steps within the simulation. In our example, we're only going to need two steps. The first is the initial step, which every Abacus simulation must have. And the second step is going to be a loading step, where we apply the loads. We're going to apply the boundary conditions in the initial step. But this is more a matter of preference. Sometimes you can assign it in the load step, and it'll work out just fine. But other times you have more complex simulations where you want to make sure you're applying different boundary conditions at different stages of the simulation. And in that case, you want to think about where you're applying loads and boundary conditions, which steps, and create the steps accordingly. But you'll understand that better as you uh, get deeper into Abacus and more familiar with the whole environment. I'm going to expand out steps. And as you see, Abacus has already gone ahead and placed an initial step in place. I'm going to double click on steps and it gives me a create step window. And I'm going to call the step the loading step. And I'm going to tell Abacus to insert this new step after the initial step. The procedure type in our case is going to be a, a general procedure. And from all of the options listed over here, we're going with static general, because that's what we're doing in the simulation. We're not doing a heat transfer. We're not doing an explicit analysis or a dynamic analysis or any of these others. Ours is a very simple static general analysis. I'm going to click on continue after that. Now the edit step window gives you a few more options. You might want to go ahead and type out a description over here. You do fill out the description field in larger, more complex simulations just to keep track of what you're doing. So when you come back here later, you can read that. And it'll hopefully make more sense if you've forgotten what you were thinking at the time. I'm going to leave all of the other properties intact in the basic tab and the incrementation tab and the other tab. See, we don't want to worry too much about all of these properties in this beginner tutorial. The only one I'm going to point out is the time period. That tells Abacus how much time it needs to spend performing the step. So your initial could be one time step, and then your loading could be a second time step, and then on a third one you have maybe another load or whatever else you want to do in your third step. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and there you see we've created a loading step. So now we've got initial and loading, and they're both marked over there. 